couldn't seven. resist. RFW guy. Yes, sir. Pleasure yeah. to have you aboard. Oh, thank you. Pleasure to be here. <laughs> My reputation precedes me. Hopefully, oh, ladies and gentlemen, now arriving at Wayne Junction, Wayne Junction to the south. This is your local train to Doyle Town. Doyle Town, the stop, take it town, take it town. Ladies and gentlemen, now arriving one side, one side to the south. Ladies and gentlemen, this is North Hills, North Hills. Swordfish and tuna. Oh, yeah. Are you, is this the way you normally announce stops? Or you yes. Just... Yeah. This, this this is this is the normal. Yeah. This is normal for me. Oh, I don't have to announce the stations on my narrative. Yeah. <laughs> are, you okay. the, are you the conductor Paul of something? You know who conductor Paul is? I, I do not know who conductor Paul is. Oh, he's from he's from Metro North. If you watch my channel, I think. very informative with his narratives. Yeah, I'm just I'm just an assistant conductor. I'm still new. It's actually today's my uh, one year anniversary here. So. Oh, congratulations! Thank hopefully, you. hopefully many more. Yeah, 36 and a half to go until retirement. So oh. that's, how, that's how we're looking at it. Want to be an engineer? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, so which is which? So this the where the train's coming from. That school. Okay, and we just came on a. And we came on a county because that's County Line Road. So that oh. actually separates Bucks and Montgomery counties. What are the interlockings on the way up from Jenkintown? So you have uh, Jank South, which is south of Jankatown. Then you have Jankatown. Yep. Then you have Carmel. Then you have Gwinnett. And then Lansdale's obviously Dale. Yep. Then you have Land, County, School. And then when we get up to Doylestown, that siding is actually long. And then Doyle is the final interlocking before you have the yard. Oh, okay. Nice old station they have up there. It's a gorgeous station. They just put a barber shop in it, actually. Huh. Oh, it's a great town. It's got well. It's a nice college town. That's what it is. It's a great place to go. Yeah, I mean, I I've definitely found many a nights just wandering around Doylestown. Great, it's just a great atmosphere. That's the main track to the left of us. If the train doesn't clear County Line Road fast enough, it'll still say that he's active. So oh. the gates will go back up when he's actually not clear of the crossing circuit. So then the dispatcher has to press the button, give us the signal, and the and the. Uh, crossing gates will go down. Sounds like a timing issue. It is. Yeah. We're working on it. See, I like uh, working the Doylestown line just because of the pace of the line. So I, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm weird. I like to be busy. Within reason. So the freight business down in uh, Lansdale? Yes. Pennsylvania Northeastern does that? They probably do that at night, right? Yeah. So Pennsylvania Northeastern, uh, they can, they're can they they're set to qualify all the way down to Carmel and Jankatown. <laughs> So they usually run at night, but there are some daylight runs. Um, and if you saw the CSX power all the way on the far left, yep. that's uh, LO42, who uses the Stony Creek branch. Yep. And he'll take the uh, track cut off over the Woodburn Yard and continue up to wherever he needs to go. Oh, that's where he goes. That is also a nighttime job. Yeah. Um, they're usually offset the territory at 3 30, 4 30 in the morning. Since we did the crossing and now we can do track speed fifty here. Oh yeah, I can see the the concrete there. Smoothest railroad crossing right now. without protectors you can you can 
good then. So, you know, you yeah. take it to scale. I mean, we had, a, we had a set of G's yesterday that the, the horn was just... Uh, went home with the headache, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Brent! Well, here's our conductor. What's your name again? Bill Rowland, assistant conductor here in SEPTA. Oh, well, wow. did a hell of a job today. Thank you, much appreciated. Yeah, people don't know where we are riding your train. Something's wrong. <laughs> uh, you, you'd be surprised. I mean, you know, I, I treat everybody the way I, you know, you want to be treated, especially, you know, railroads have been getting a bad rap lately. So there are people who still care, and uh, I take pride in what I do. Oh, yeah, I know a lot of guys who care, really. They, they you know, makes difference, makes difference. Rather than riding on a train and like, you know, I've ridden trains where the conductor didn't even know the schedule of their own train. So yeah, I mean, it's more of a craft, you know, yeah. and, and, that, and that's what we're here to do. You're here to you're here to be a railroader, you know. Let's see. Some people are in it for the check. Some people are in it because the benefits. You know, I'm here because I want to be here, and, that, and that's how it is. So I I come to work every day with the same attitude. And Good I like for you. Here. Take pride in your work. That's the way to be. Yes, that's sir. The way that's to how we're doing. All right, well, thank you very much for the lovely ride yeah, no and your problem. commentary. All right, thank you. Well, before we go, how do you like running the Silver Line of Fours and the Silver Line of Fives? What's good and bad about them? So I used to work an express train, so if I had an express train, give me Silver Line of Fours all day long. Just being able to close the traps and move that train faster, it's great. Going home at the end of the day, I want to have fives for the simple reason of less work I got to do, but it's also a more comfortable ride. The suspensions are different in the trains, so it's easier on your knees and I don't have to bend over or hang outside the element, so going home, I'd have fives all day long. Yeah, well, these, you know, they have their pluses. They take off real good. They yeah, the, the propulsion system is, is really great. Three miles an hour, a second, up to 30 miles an hour. I don't know if these, it, you know, I'm not a big Silver Line of Four fan, but <laughs> these things aren't going to last nearly as long as those. No, the, some of the uh, GEs are starting to come up on 50 years. Yeah. Um, so if you go actually go on the SEPTA's website, there's a replacement plan potentially for the uh, Silver Sixes. Um, there's a whole bunch of conspiracy theories out there, but until they get onto the property, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Well, I enjoy these while they're still around. Hey, they'll be around for, for a little bit longer, but yeah. hopefully you can enjoy it. Not 50 years, I don't think. No, I don't think so. Oh. How about the uh, the ACS 64s? How are they doing? So the ACS 64s are doing well. We've actually increased our overall uh, bomber trains per day. So the West Trenton line, Paoli Thorndale, and Wilmington Newark, as well as the Media Lala line, are currently running ACS uh, 64 Express, including what's called the Baby Flyer. That used to be the Express to Paoli, uh, local to Thorndale. So the bombers are up and running. We haven't really had many issues. Unfortunately, if you were on the Trenton line, a lot of people used to look for them going to Trenton. They got replaced by five yeah. just for the simple uh, reason of ridership. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I people tell me that a set of the ACS 64s can substitute for an MU on an off-peak train. They have the same kind of acceleration. What do you think? Um, they tried it before. Before I hired here, a lot of the, the older conductors were telling me about uh, how they used to run them all day and make every single local stop. And they, uh, they can take off, but... Uh, there's so much weight, especially with the uh, Bombardier coaches, yeah. that it just it wore out the brakes and things with brakes. So, oh. for now, you're going to see just traditional MUs for local service during the day. Okay. Uh, I've lived with it for, I've been coming down here for a half a century. I can live with it some more, I yeah. suppose. <laughs> Give me an MP54, though. <laughs> hey, hey, well, that, that's definitely way before my time. I think. Uh. I, I wasn't even born yet, and they were out of service. So. Oh, well, I like the Bud cars. They were nice. Yeah, I, I rode the bud, Buds a couple times when I was a kid, but, uh, yeah, I'll take uh, I'll take the G's and the fives as I get them. Bombers, you got to catch me on an express train for that one. Yeah, I hope they bring the Great Valley Express back again. That would be nice. That uh, would be nice. 30th Street, Paoli, nonstop. Uh, All right. I hope. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, now arriving at Temple University, if you are exiting the train at this time, Please make sure you have all of your tickets and key cards, as well as your personal items. Once again, now arriving at Temple University. Ladies and gentlemen, now arriving at North Broad. North Broad, this stop. North Broad. Ladies and gentlemen, now arriving at Allegheny. Allegheny, this stop. Allegheny. Ladies and gentlemen, now arriving at East Falls. East Falls, this stop. East Falls! Ladies and gentlemen, now arriving at Temple 
ladies and gentlemen, now arriving at Wissahickon Transportation Center. Wissahickon this time. Ladies and gentlemen, now arriving at Mattyon. Mattyon this time. Ladies and gentlemen, now arriving at Ivy Ridge. Ivy Ridge this stop. Ivy Ridge. Ladies and gentlemen, before we reach uh, Mequon, we will be waiting on one inbound train. That train is the Slavari Mequon now. Once again, we're going to be here for a few moments, waiting for the inbound train to pass us here at Mequon. I had scissors. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the move. Mequon will be our next stop. Mequon. Ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to get Mequon. Mequon this stop. Mequon. Ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to get Spring Mill. Spring Mill. Spring Mill this stop. The Mill of Spring. Spring Mill. Ladies and gentlemen, now arriving in Kacho Hawkin. Kacho Hawkin this time. Kacho Hawkin this time. Kacho. Ladies and gentlemen, now arriving at Norristown Transportation Center. Hey, if you are exiting the train at this time, please make sure you have all your personal items as well as your key cards tap out of the readers located on the platform. Once again, now arriving at Norristown Transportation Center. Connections to set the buses are directly across the walkway and for the Norristown High Speed Line, go up the steps. Once again, Norris Town Transportation Center this time. To the early Norristown, 50s. Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, now arriving at Main Street, Norris Town. Main Street, Norris Town this time. Ladies and gentlemen, next and final stop will be Elm Street, Norris Town. Elm Street, Norris Town, next and final. At this time, please make sure you have all your personal items, as well as your key card to tap out. The rear is located on the platforms. Once again, the next and final stop will be Elm Street, Norris Town. Motorage for market train provides subway trolley buses and all regional rail connections. Once again, this is your local train to L Wind. Next stop will be Jefferson Station. As a reminder, this train will stop at L Wind. This train will not stop at Wawa Station. Once again, the final stop of this morning's train will be L Wind. This train will not stop at Wawa Station. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, I almost forgot it again. Oh, <laughs> Fell out of my pocket. Oh, you gotta. Get it in suburban. Yeah. Get well, off the and go to suburban. All right. So had a nice ride on the line. Thanks for your uh, boisterous announcements. Anytime. Yeah. So what's going on on the Norris Town line again? Will you explain that? So um, they're doing tie replacement work. So as you saw in the video coming down, you see all the railroad ties. Okay. Yeah. It's just a state of good repair improvement projects. That's why you see all the ties. And if you look closely in the video, you see each band tie is marked with a white spot. So the crews are coming in to replace the ties. They're going to fix the rail. And this weekend, they're actually shutting the whole line down between Norristown and Spring Mill. Oh, boy. So they're doing that with shuttle busing. And the 70 plus thousand people going to the Taylor Swift concerts tonight and tomorrow. So oh, really? Should be fun. <laughs> yeah, really. I don't know. I spent $8,000 on the concert ticket, that's for sure. Nah, nah. Maybe a, maybe a Phillies game you would. Uh, if I'm spending $8,000 on a Phillies game, better be sitting behind me and playing. It's a game set for the World Series. Yeah. <laughs> So what is that rule 135 you were Rule 135 is uh, Norac rule 135. It's basically, it's, and, and to simplify it, it means track is obstructed for work. So that's why it, if you saw the video coming in, all the equipment there, there's signs up that say approach a working speed limit sign, uh, start working speed limit sign, there's a flag went out there, a conditional stop board. So basically the trains can't proceed into the work zone without somebody telling them it's okay. okay. So there's also certain specific speeds. Trains cannot exceed 40 miles an hour. Um, track speed could be 60, 70, whatever. You can't go uh, 40, 40 miles an hour through that to trust them. Oh, okay. So it's like a track warrant. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I didn't hear any poetry from you. Watch uh, out, Conductor well, Paul's gonna get you. Uh, hey, Paul can get me. <laughs> I mean, I ain't got no poetry. I'm not, I'm not that much of a little uh, man. Uh, I just make the long announcements that uh, everyone's like, "Oh, you're so good at announcing." Yeah, well, I'm here. So. Well, you're good at that. I guess. Uh, I, I guess. Appreciate that. Thank you. I guess Paul will forgive you for that. I'll, I'll have a few words with him. Okay. okay. Sounds good. He'll give you a break. There we go. <laughs> okay, time for his big spiel. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your local train to L O N. Make it all local stops. 
Next stop will be Penn Center Suburban Station for 16th or 18th and JFK, Philadelphia City Hall and District Courts, Wild Park, Dilworth Park, Dimension, Franklin Parkway, the Philadelphia Museum of Art, and the Comcast Center. For connections to Seven's Broad Street Line, Market Frank for Mine, Subway Trolley Buses, and all regional rail connections. Once again, next stop will be Penn Center Suburban Station. As a reminder, the final stop of this morning's train will be Elwin. This train will not stop at Wawa Station. Ladies and gentlemen, now arriving at Suburban Station, if you are exiting the train at this time, please make sure you have only your personal items, as well as your ticket or key card, to tap out the turnstile. Once again, now arriving at Penn Center Suburban Station, this is your local train to Elwin. All right. Paul may come down and kiss you for that. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> that I'd like to see. Good afternoon, ma'am. We got four cars, 879 in the lead north, five track, 30 street over. Roger that, 4 3 train 436 has permission to reverse back down to signal 5 track at Schuylkill. Good out, no form D is scheduled leaving time. You never stop. Good afternoon, good day. 7 train 436 down. Wayne Junction. Melrose Park. Melrose Park. Melrose Ladies and gentlemen, now arriving at Elkins Park. Elkins Park is on. Elkins Park. Ladies and gentlemen, now arriving at Jenkintown Winco. Jenkintown Winco is on. Jenkintown is on. Jenkintown. Ladies and gentlemen, as we glide into the left side, please make sure you have all of your personal items as well as your key card and tap out at the readers located on the platforms. Once again, now arriving in the left side, this is your local train too. Warminster. Ladies and gentlemen, now on the R2. Dr. Bill, soon to hopefully be Engineer Bill. Yeah, yeah that's happening. <laughs> so tell us about your, you had a great trip to California, I heard. Yeah, and California vacation was wonderful. I uh, didn't want to come back, but uh, you know, that's an outfit you go to Cali. Yeah, I didn't want to come back from Ireland either, but uh, tell me about your engineer training. I So uh, starting, I guess, uh, by the time this is probably up on YouTube, Monday, August 14th, I'm going to uh, uh, what's called promotion class. So a lot of the railroads put their engineers and conductors into a promotion class where they have to learn book of rules, the territory, the equipment, all that stuff. So uh, my name finally came up and uh, starting Monday for the next year or so, I'll be uh, making my way through the ranks and uh, hopefully becoming a promoted engineer. So how many weeks classroom and how many PCs? Uh, classroom, I think is 20 days. PCs is between five and six months. Wow. Yeah, um, we cover a lot of territory, 256, uh, 256 station stops worth in three different states. So. Now you'll get to learn how to operate these bomber trains, the push pull, uh, cab cars, yeah, the Silverliner 5s and those Silverliner 4s. Yeah, well, you know, hey, they, 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 keep, uh, they keep the railroad moving, so I can't really complain about them too much. Yeah, I came down on a set of 4s from Trenton today. They were moving pretty good. He made up some time, actually. Well, you so. know, we're, we're doing our best as uh, everyone is right now, and, uh, you know, wait until the Silver 6s come in and, uh, Rumor is the double deckers will be in maybe by the end of this year, early next year. So we'll see. What about the Silver Sixes? Who's building those? Uh, they're still going through the design phase. I think there's something on SEPTA's website. Oh, oh, okay. Sounds cool. Well, I wish you a lot of luck, buddy. And, Appreciate uh, it. Hope to see you again um, behind the controls. I'm sure you'll see me soon. All right. Great.